ECMO is, stands for extracorporeal, which means you're taking the blood out of the body, membrane oxygenation, which means then you're then oxygenating that blood. It allows us to kind of provide an artificial pump of the heart and artificial oxygenation of the lungs. So anytime the heart and or lungs are working too hard and we need to provide them time to rest and recover, we can use ECMO to do that, like a neonate having heart surgery or a pediatric patient with um, asthma or an adult coming out of heart surgery or now most recently adults with COVID. So basically we put large tubing into the two areas of the heart. One area of the heart we pull the blood out of, it runs through this pump pushes it through this oxygenator, which puts oxygen in the blood, takes out the carbon dioxide, and then we return it back into the heart. So these cannulas are directly in your heart. A red alarm. ECMO is the se most serious form of life support that we have. Um, it can be very risky because you are taking a patient's blood out of their body and returning it to them. So there are risks involved with that. The mortality rate is about 50%. So the patients that go on ECMO have an 80% chance, 80-90% chance of dying without it they still only have a 50% chance of living with ECMO. So it is not fix everybody. Once a patient is on, they actually do need frequent blood product replacement. So it's not just about the machine and the nursing staff at the bedside, it's about the blood bank, it's about the pharmacists that have to make medications specially for these patients, it's about the labs that have to be drawn for the monitoring. So it's not just this piece of equipment, it's all the things that go behind it to make it work.